What's good, Bit Rushers? My name's Kyler. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to switch your Ethereum over to the Polygon Matic network, how to add the Polygon Matic network to your MetaMask wallet, and how to use QuickSwap, which is basically the Uniswap of the Polygon Matic network, and how to trade for any coins you'd like over there on that network. If that sounds good, stick around. Everyone who's new around here, go ahead and sub to the channel. Click the bell to be notified on all future videos. You can find links to all of my social media and all of my investment projects as well as my merch link below in the description. You can also join the Telegram chat group at BitRush9000, 100% completely free, also linked below. Alright guys, pound the thumbs up on this one and let's get into today's content. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come on over to the Matic.network website, and it's going to ask you with a pop-up to switch over to the new Polygon website, but for right now, we're just going to skip that and stay here. We're going to click on Products and go to their wallet and click that link. It's going to open something like this that wants to link with your wallet. For us today, in today's tutorial, we're going to be using MetaMask. If you don't have a MetaMask wallet or know how to set a MetaMask wallet up, you can find a link for that in the description below. I have a video tutorial on that, and it should be popping up in the top right-hand corner above now. For everyone else, here we go. Let's click MetaMask, and it's going to ask you to confirm this transaction syncing um, your wallet with Matic. So we're going to sign that. And here we go. We're now in the Matic version 2 wallet. What we want to do next is click move funds to Matic mainnet. Um, keep in mind you're going to be taking your tokens from the Ethereum network and putting them onto the Matic network with this transaction. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to just choose one and it's going to be a one to one ratio. So whatever you choose in Ethereum, you'll have the same amount of Ethereum. It'll just be on the Matic network. So choose however amount you want to switch. For me, it's just going to be one Ethereum for today's transaction. Go ahead and click transfer. Opens up a confirmation menu here. Moving funds takes about seven to eight minutes. Okay. Click continue. And we do see there is a heavy gas fee. But the good news is once we're on the Matic network, we're no longer going to have these gas fees. So this is kind of a um, final hurrah here. So go ahead and confirm that. And we can see it here going. And if you want, um, you can you know view it here on the bridge. And we're just going to see estimated transaction fee 24. So go ahead and continue. Click one more confirmation. And it looks like one more um you know wallet signature here it's going to have your total amount the transaction fee plus the total i'm actually going to edit this and make sure i'm on the fastest gas setting just for the sake of today's video to make it go nice and quick so it's going to be 22 dollar gas fee and one ethereum confirm here we go transaction in process and if we want we can click to view on ether scan where we can view all the information about that transaction and it's still pending right now, so let's give it a second to propagate. And we should see the amount of time. I put it on fast, so it should be under a couple minutes here. While we're waiting for that transaction to complete, let's go ahead and add the Matic Polygon Network to our MetaMask wallet. Using a quick Google search, we can find several articles. Um, just clicking on any one of them, we should be able to find the information to add Matic to our uh, MetaMask wallet. And just to confirm for you guys, it is rpc-mainnet.matic.network and chain ID 137 and the explorer.matic.network. So um, to get that into our MetaMask wallet, we now need to open up MetaMask here by clicking on the fox and we click on the three dot hamburger menu and let's click expand view. This makes it much easier to copy and paste. Now it's in its own browser tab. Um, right here in the top right next to our wallet icon, we can see Ethereum mainnet. We want to 
do custom RPC, and this is going to add a custom network. We also have all of our test networks and the other chains that we have. But right now, I just have GoChain, so let's add another custom one. And this is where we're going to add all of that information. If you guys want, you can get this information right out of the description below from this video. So you don't need to do a search and find this information. It will be in the description below. You guys can just copy and paste it out of my video and go ahead and pause now. And make sure there's no spaces in there. It looks like I have one. I'm going to have to, yeah, it's showing up invalid. We're going to have to just remove that. Once you have all the information filled out correctly, we can click save. And now we are on that network. So closing this down, um, click back on the Fox again for MetaMask. And we can see now in the top right hand corner, we're on Matic. And we can see we have 0.1 Matic in our wallet. Looks like our transaction was complete here and we do have our Ethereum um, transferred over. So let's close down this Ether scan and come on back to the Matic wallet. Looks like um, it's showing completed here so we can X that out. And now if we go back to our wallet. Okay, once we're in our wallet here, we can now see our balance and it does have USD value, which is the current value of our one ETH we switched over. It took me a few minutes. I had to refresh it several times after um, the Ether scan went through. It did take about 10 more minutes after I got the transaction confirmation on Ether scan until it actually showed up in my wallet here on the wallet.matic.network. Okay, so once we have that in here, we can see it right there, ETH1, um, we know it's on our wallet. Now that we have the Ethereum on our Matic Polygon network, and we are ready to go to QuickSwap and make a swap. Okay, so coming over to QuickSwap, it is the quickswap.exchange slash pound slash swap is the URL for that. Should be linked in the description below as well. Um, now that we're here, we can connect to our um, Matic network. So we're already synced, it looks like, and let's switch to Matic. Okay, so just confirm you are on the Matic network here on your MetaMask wallet, and it should automatically sync. And we can switch our token here to Ethereum, which is what we're planning on using. We can then choose the token of our choice we're going to swap to. For us today, I'm going to be swapping to some Ghost Coin. Choose the amount of Ethereum you'd like to swap for the amount of coin. So once you have the correct amount you'd like to swap, you can go ahead and click Swap. You'll then have to confirm the transaction on the network. It does take just a second to confirm. And once that transaction is confirmed, we can now go ahead and start up our swap. And again, we have to confirm that transaction and pay a small gas fee. This time it's only a fraction of a cent, which is the beauty of the Polygon Matic network. Go ahead and confirm that. And just a second, and we can view that on the Blockchain Explorer and see that transaction is complete. And that's it. You've done your first swap on the Polygon Matic Network using QuickSwap. Okay, if we come on back to wallet.matic.network, we can now see those Avagachi GHST tokens in our wallet here, along with the remaining half ETH left. So that's basically everything, guys. We now have swapped our Ethereum over to the Matic Polygon Network, and we've swapped some of that ETH on the Matic Polygon Network over to Avagachi GHST. ST tokens you guys can swap them for any token you'd like on the network and that's pretty much it that's everything for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy yourselves and learn something from today's video if you did do smash a thumbs up on it share it with a friend or family member anyone you think may enjoy the process of learning how to switch their eth over on the bridge to the matic polygon network where they will pay much less fees 
and then you can go ahead and use quick swap just like you would uniswap and transfer your tokens for any other token on the matic polygon network guys amazing stuff i hope you did enjoy it again smash that thumbs up subscribe to the channel links for everything below happy crypto let's get that coin